Hi everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to get metadata from a PDF document in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using a Cloudmersive PDF connector. This is a relatively short flow, but it can be very useful for retrieving data for some of our other PDF connector functions. Now to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow, type in a name for the flow, select Manually Trigger a Flow, and press Create. Now we're ready to begin. The first step of our process is going to retrieve the content from our source folder. The file I will be using is in SharePoint, so I will type SharePoint Get File Content. Next, I will select my SharePoint site address and the file path. After we have created the file content action, we will look up the Cloudmersive PDF connector, which is the pink icon here, and we'll select Get PDF Document Metadata. It's important to note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now I'm going to add my file content from the previous action and input the file name followed by .pdf. Once this information is filled out, we can click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save the information, but once it's complete, we can click the Test button. We will choose the manual option for testing the file, hit the second Test button, and then Continue. After that, we will click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, there will be green check marks next to the connector showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. Now we can click on the Get PDF Document Metadata step to view our outputs. You can see that it grabbed all the information that was available for this particular document and left the non-applicable fields blank. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.